everyone, and welcome to the 2023 FarmBot software video series. In these videos, we're going to talk about all the different aspects of FarmBot software so you can control and configure your FarmBot to take care of your garden exactly how you want. Let's get started. The primary piece of software we're going to talk about in this video is the FarmBot web app. Because our application is web-based, it can be loaded up on any modern web browser on any modern device, such as a desktop computer, laptop, tablet, or smartphone, either iOS or Android. Whenever you want to open up the app, simply navigate to my.farm.bot in your web browser, and the latest version of the app will be loaded with all the newest features and security updates. You never have to worry about installing or updating the web application yourself. When you first navigate to the app, if you don't have an account yet, you're going to be shown the login and account creation screen. To create an account, simply fill out the create an account box and press the submit button. Once you submit the information, we'll send you an email with a link to verify your email address. Clicking the link will load the app and you'll be logged into your brand new verified account. Once logged in, the very first panel you'll see is called the message center. On this panel, you'll find cards with important information about your account, your farm bot, and news such as new feature announcements. In the future, look for the blue badge in the main app navigation to see when new messages are available. And when you're finished with a message, press the X button in the top right of the card to dismiss it. To finish setting up your account, find the Choose Your FarmBot card and make your selection. If you're unsure about which FarmBot you have, check the side of the box that it came in. Choosing your FarmBot will populate your account with settings, sequences, and more that are specific to your FarmBot model, so you can get to using your FarmBot faster. At this time, there may still be other cards in the message center, but in this video, we're going to go ahead and continue on with the overview of the app. At the top of the app is the status ticker, which shows incoming log messages from your farm bot while it's performing operations such as movements or syncing. Because we haven't connected a farm bot to this account yet, we see that there are no logs currently available, but once we're connected, clicking the status ticker will show additional logs. Here you can search and filter by log type and verbosity, as well as change the types of logs your farm bot will generate. FarmBot will generate many logs while it is operating, which can provide insights that may be useful when something unexpected happens, or when your FarmBot is largely on autopilot and you just want to check in periodically. The second bar at the top of the app, the dark gray bar, is the main navigation bar of the app, allowing you to view the various panels. In the following videos, we'll take deep dives into each of these panels, but for now, we'll move on with the general overview. Other items in the main navigation bar include the current coordinates indicator, the jobs pop-up, the connectivity pop-up, the e-stop button, and the account menu. The current coordinates indicator shows FarmBot's current position in real time. Click the indicator to open up a manual controls pop-up. Clicking the jobs pop-up allows you to view the progress of long-running tasks that the FarmBot is performing, such as a full garden scan or system update. The connectivity pop-up shows real-time and historical information about FarmBot's connectivity, network status, and various health metrics over time. Because we haven't connected a FarmBot to this account yet, the diagnosis shows that the browser is connected, but there's no connection to the FarmBot. When a FarmBot is connected and all systems are functioning, you will see a green check mark here and all green indicators like this. If you are ever having connectivity issues, check the network and history tabs for additional insights into why FarmBot might be unable to connect. A common reason for connection problems is low Wi-Fi signal strength or blocked ports on a school or enterprise network. Consult with our in-depth troubleshooting documentation if needed. Next in the main nav is the e-stop button, allowing you to quickly stop FarmBot's movements and turn off all of its peripherals in case something is going wrong. Because no FarmBot is connected yet, this button is grayed out and disabled, but once a bot is connected, it will be enabled and show as red. Whenever a bot is connected and currently e-stopped, the button will change to a blinking yellow unlock button. Clicking this will unlock the farm bot and allow it to receive new commands or execute a sequence again. And last in the main nav is the account menu, where you have links to the settings panel, setup wizard, help documentation, and a button to log out. To wrap up the app overview, let's just discuss two of the panels. First is the settings panel, which has several sections chock full of settings that determine how your FarmBot operates as well as app settings and preferences. If you need to change your account's email address or password, update your preferred language, export your account data, or delete your account entirely, you can do so from the account section. Next is the help panel. Whenever you need additional information for how to use the software, navigate to the help panel. 
Here you'll find the software documentation as well as a drop down menu at the top for selecting a different documentation hub, viewing the app's hotkeys, taking app tours, and for requesting phone or email support. So let's move on to the next video where we'll connect FarmBot and complete the setup wizard. Thanks.